Hi, my name is Simon, and if you're watching this, this is my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is all very new to me. I usually just upload silly stuff or little shorts, little shorts. But this is the first time that I ever try to record a vlog. I always say vlog, but I think the cool kids say vlog. So this is all very new to me, so bear with me here a little bit. Um, I might get into the groove if you guys enjoy this or if I have something else to share. But for today, I have something very special to talk about because there's something that I really wanted to share with you guys. It's very special to me, very dear to my heart. It, my cat is playing around. You gotta do this now? Um, and it is my new EP that's coming out and it's so f fantastic to me because I have not released music in a long time, especially not that kind of music. If you're wondering, I uh, usually do or in the last few years, I've been mostly doing little soundtracks for video games. My friend Miguel makes, here's a link to Miguel. But that music that I do for these games is usually instrumental and it's usually very dark and very, you know, it's more video game music. It's a little vibey, it's just setting a mood, but it's not really a song. It's really not, you know, something like that. But that's where I actually come from originally. If, I mean, most of you will probably not know this, but I used to play in a punk band years and years and years back. And used to write those songs and be the front man and uh, sing those songs. But for now, I'm just happy to be releasing punk music again, because that's what I did. I, after all these years, came back and recorded a little punk EP, and I wanted to share that with you guys. The EP was made under kind of special circumstances because I joined a challenge this year for the first time in my life ever. I joined a songwriting challenge, and that's been so fun. Um, and the challenge I'm talking about was the album writing club organized by Headlights and White Lines an indie label from the UK. And they just had like a um, post online where they you know, said, okay, come join us. We're doing this challenge. You have the whole month of May and you the goal is to write as many songs as you can. So I sat down in the end with like just a blank piece of paper and uh, just started writing, started thinking about what I wanted to do and sat down at my keyboard right behind me here and just played around with a Rhodes piano riff. That's my favorite instrument ever. I know it doesn't sound very punk rock, but uh, my favorite instrument ever is the Rhodes piano. So I had this Rhodes piano riff that's kind of playing and I, I enjoyed that. Kind of put it aside. I didn't really know what to do with it yet, but I had this this thing going on. It was the first, first thing I wrote. Turned into the third song on the EP, which is called Welcome Home, and you can hear it here. Welcome home. And um, it's just about me walking home from work through the city, through traffic, through all the noise, through all the smog out there, just to come home to say hi to my wife and just, you know, be happy to be home because I love being home. And then I, I had a few more ideas that didn't really turn into much punk rock. And uh, the fourth song I come up, came up with uh, turned into the the opening track for the EP. I mean, if you if you listen to it, um, and I'd, I'd love for you to listen to it, but if you listen to it, you can tell that I was a little mad at a certain very rich person that bought my favorite social media platform and turned it into shit. And uh, I wrote, at the beginning of May, I wrote some very hateful lyrics, very punk rocky, very very hateful. I wrote them and I enjoyed them, but I, I knew that that was not what I wanted to put out there. You know, there's, it's not, I, I, I don't want it to be super hateful. For me, what usually works better is to make fun of stuff. And I always more enjoy to just kind of, you know, just see it as silly as it is, because it all is kind of silly. I mean, social media is kind of silly, come on. I started anew with like the same topic in mind and the same kind of ideas for the song but wrote a more more funny approach to the you know trying to just be a little tongue-in-cheek and a little just a little silly about it and so the song came together the, the lyrics came together very quickly i think that was like one one uh from writing session maybe an hour or something that i had that all done but it turned out to be the song johnny cashflow which is now the number one uh, track on my album and you can listen to it here. Pay your subscription. Pay it all to me. I really enjoy that. Um, you saw a little snippet of the music video that I'm planning to do. I'm still working on that, so stay tuned. I think it turned out to be a very fun song. I really enjoy it. Uh, I hope you do too. Um, so I had two songs down from my EP. Two songs that I so far kind of liked. Um, I had like fun, fun playing around with. And then there was another, another idea I had on my mind. 
which is that I am an old man by now. I mean, look at me, I'm 33. So I wanted to write a song about that. And that song turned out to be One Step Before the Beyond. And if you catch my little joke in the title, you're probably not one of those youngsters. One Step Anyway, turned out to be a very fun song just about aging and about feeling old and about not getting what the kids are about nowadays. So I wrote, wrote a song about me feeling old. You can hear it in the background right here. And here's... The kids outside my window are drinking Thursday night. They smash all of their bottles. I almost start a fight. And that's the three songs that I that I wrote for this EP. And it's out now. When you when you see this video, it is out now. You can find it on Spotify and on everything else, wherever you, you stream your music. Um, you can find it, or you can you know just see it on Bandcamp or SoundCloud. And if you want, you can buy it there, but you don't have to just... I would love for you to just stream it and listen to it and leave me feedback. Maybe under this video or on my social media, whatever. No, but I really enjoyed making this album here at this very desk, at this very in this very room and recording my guitars that you can see right behind me. I realized that you couldn't see my guitars, so there they are. Ta-da! The bass that's behind me, I've got that... I think two years ago. But for this EP, I actually recorded the bass for two of the songs. One of them is uh, just, you know, programmed uh, MIDI bass. I wonder if you can tell which one. Leave me a comment if you know which song I didn't play the bass on. That's your engagement for you. But yeah, so I recorded the bass, I recorded all the guitars, I recorded the singing. Um, and the, I mean, the drums are all programmed, but I had a lot, I had lots of fun programming those drums. It was very fun. But so this whole EP came together in like, you know, a month's time. I'm very proud of it. And then by the end of, of the, of May, everyone handed in their project. I think we had 35, 36 uh, entries to the contest. Sadly, I did not make any of the prizes, which is very sad to me, but I'm very happy for all the, the winners of the contest. There's fantastic stuff out there. I will link the contest. Um, down below there's a playlist with all the songs that were like all the singles that were in the contest and I'm sure from there you can find all the artists that uh, that probably by now publish their albums or will in the future uh, congrats to everyone really really good work um, and maybe next time I will win with my EP but it was such a fun such a great experience I can highly recommend it to anyone out there who uh, writes music in their spare time maybe even records music in their spare time uh, it's very, very fun, very cool, and a nice little challenge to kind of just really get stuff out and, um, you know, not take forever with music, because that's what I usually do. I just kind of... <laughs> Ain't it fun when your camera just suddenly stops recording? You will be able to tell that this room suddenly looks a little different, because my camera just decided to stop what it was doing and just kind of not record the end of my video. <laughs> But all that it missed was really just me saying goodbye to you guys. So I'm just going to do that again. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love you to subscribe and maybe leave a like and a comment down below. Um, you can also follow me on all the social media stuff. It's all linked down below and on my Twitch channel, which I'm trying to use more in the future. I have very rarely streamed in the past, just sometimes kind of composing music on there. That's what I'm trying to do in the future. I'm kind of trying to get into the schedule of doing it once a week for a few hours at least, just sitting on Twitch, composing music, producing stuff, uh, listening to stuff maybe, playing guitar, whatever, but kind of music related. So if you guys want to check that out, I would love to see you there and we can just make some music together maybe, that would be fun. And other than that, I will just under the video link all the other contestants from the Album Writing Club and so you can check those out. Very fun stuff there. Um, and also, of course, I will link my music and the album I just released down below. So you can check that out if you want. I would love for you to check that out and would love to hear your feedback. Please feel free to just come back here and post feedback under this video or just, you know, at me on my social media pages. I would love to hear from you. All right. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you guys next time. Pay your subscription. Pay it all to me. Subscription. Just pay your monthly fee.